guys. So I think I'll consider this um, part one of my Halloween looks. I kind of was thinking that I just film them when I go do them for Halloween and then put them up. But then I was like, well, that's after Halloween. They'll finally get up there. So I don't... I figured I would start some of them, and there's this one and the other one are pretty natural looking, um, for the most part. Actually, the other one is too. One's really dramatic, so this one is my angel one, which I kind of think is versatile, because I might, if I go out, um, an extra day, I might do just a Greek goddess type theme, and so I thought this, it would work for that too, um, so it's like golds on the eye like really fanned out eyelashes and um, I will do a part two for this one because when it gets closer to Halloween um, this is just like the base makeup and then I'm gonna use poofy paint like that you get at just Walmart and I'm gonna draw like a little design like so it looks kinda like lace white and then I've got little gems that you use on your nails and I'm just gonna use that to like decorate kind of make something a little more Halloween-y than just looking like this, like something that I could go out in. Yeah. Um, and I got the idea from another YouTube channel. I think it's under like Angel Halloween makeup and you'll be able to tell because I think the screenshot of her, it shows like the white design that she did. I don't remember who did it though. But I got the idea from that and she said something about poofy paint so I'm hoping that's the kind. And, um, so this is just the makeup, because my, I'm going to wear these earrings, actually, but, um, my hair is going to be down and curled, probably spiraled, and, um, I'm going to be using that. I'm just doing kind of a base test of it, the colors, see if I really like them. Um, I'm going to be using this on my nails, it's Spark de Triomphe, and it's just a gold glitter. If you can see it's by OPI so I've got it all planned out it's just uh, I'm gonna do just a test run of the makeup today and I think I really like it I'm not gonna change any of the colors probably because I do really like this so when I do my part two I'll probably do my makeup and then start doing the stuff um, afterwards so that was a long enough intro I'll start right away now I'm taking gorgeous gold for Mac the eyeshadow this one which is a very light, bright yellow gold. And I'm going to wet the brush. I'm just putting this on with a 213. And I'm putting this in the inner third. And kind of in the corner too. To keep it bright and light. It is smoky. It's kind of, I guess, a sexy angel. But I really love the gold. I was thinking of doing, like, light, bright silvers. But I just, I think gold is so much warmer and inviting. And I think of kind of like a Christmas gold angel. The second color I'm going to take is... that one in there. I'm taking gold mold pigment from MAC, which is just um, a deeper gold. It's less of a golden gold, if that makes sense, like a yellow gold. So if you can see, I'm putting that in the inner third, or middle third, sorry. I'm kind of blending them where they meet. Now the third color I'm going to use is Sparkle Neely Sparkle from the Blogger's Obsession, which is just a uh, medium brown with like gold flecks in it. So I thought it would be perfect for this look. And I tried to gradate the colors. You don't want like a super light color and then 
I wouldn't put the gold, gorgeous gold, and then this one right next to each other, because you would have to really blend them together to get them not to look like it's a huge color change. Because it is a color change that's pretty big. Kind of like taking floof and carbon, like, not quite that dramatic, but like a white to a black. You're going to blend it so much in the middle that you might as well just pop that middle kind of color in the middle. And I'm just patting this on, which kind of helps blend it. And I'm putting this one in the crease because the other one's so dark that, again, we're keeping with the gradient of color. I'm going to clean up anywhere that's a little excess. Now I'm taking 219 brush, which is the smudger, and I'm going to wet this. And then I'm taking, oh, uh, the Family Crest, which came out last winter, but it's like a blackened brown with gold flecks, if you can, I wish I can, oh, you can kind of see the flecks. And I just take what's on the cap because there's so much pigment, and it's scary when you dip your brush in those because it's just like tons on it. And this one I kind of dragged down here. I'm putting gold over it later, but it helps darken that area so that it's not such a like, once again, it's all about like blending your colors together. Even if it's not a literal blending, you can make it so that they don't look quite so sharp next to each other. All right, and that's the last eye eyeshadow, which you'll see what I mean when I finish it up. Um, oh, now I'm going to blend those, taking a 224, and like literally go over and blend them with the blending brush. Alright. And you want to make sure they just match as close as you can get them. I've already put one coat of mascara, so I'm going to do another one. I'm curling my lashes. Now I'm taking its Physician's Formula, and I believe this one's the Shimmer Strips Glam Brown Eyes Custom Eye Enhancing Mascara Duo. There's a color that's like a copper on this end, and it broke. So, I mean, I still have it. It just, packaging wasn't that... Great, I guess. And it, it's like a brown with like kind of um, it's like a black with brown flecks. I would say it actually is more like that. And the other side is really coppery. You could use that to like accent just a little bit on the tips. But I just wanted to play around with my lashes like the false ones. If you don't want to do false ones but you want to add some drama that's a good way of doing it. Or you can put glitter on right after you do your mascara, like right now when it's not quite dry and the glitter will stick to it better. Alright, and since that's done, I'm going to go on to cheeks and I'm using my Paradise Blush, the little gold and flower, and I'm using mainly the peachy area, but I might go over the gold just a touch. And that's going on the apples of my cheeks. Probably the most dramatic part of this is the lashes because I'm using Halloween lashes. They're fun and you could, after Halloween, I could trim them down just the length of them a little bit and they would probably look really dramatic while still not being too Halloween-y. Now I'm taking Dior Amber Diamonds. Whoop. And first I'm going to take a 224 and I'm going to put that up here as a highlighter. There you go. Oh, didn't mean to close that. Now I'm taking a 109 brush, and I'm going to use this as my cheek highlighter also. Cheekbone highlighter. 
And you do want, like, that ethereal glow, like you're an angel, or even the Greek goddess, if I do this for that, it'd still be, almost, it'd be exactly the same, except that I won't use the puffy paint. It would look exactly like this, because I think this is very perfect for Greek goddess. I would wear a little different, like, a necklace I have that has coins, like, and it's gold, and it has, like, lots of little coins that look antique -y. I would probably wear that. Now I'm taking Everhip from MAC. You can see my nose ring in my nose. Go away. Okay. And this is a cream sheen. And any peachy color would work. And then when the holiday collection that's coming out either towards the end of this month, October, or beginning of next month, it's somewhere in there. Um, I can't remember which one it is. Let me check. Ah, dropped a flip flop. I've written down, of course, everything that I want in the ice parade. Maybe. Or wait. Yeah, I think it's the MAC ice parade. Because there's a Dazzle Sphere ice parade and then something else. And, um,. I'm getting the Rockin' Ice Delights Nail and Lip Bag, I'm pretty sure, and that comes with that Kanga Rouge that's re-promoted, that's one I really want, and it's a red lipstick, but it comes with a lip gloss called Golden Blanket, which is sheer gold pearl. I'm going to wear that, for sure, with this look, but obviously it hasn't come out yet, so instead I'm just going to use Resort Life to like mimic that effect a little bit. Actually, I'll put this on, then I'll put Reflex on my lips. Because that should give it the same effect that the lip gloss will kind of do. Except in one step. <laughs> Alright, so that's done. Now back to eyes, and I'm going to curl my lashes again. Before doing liner. And this is like, I would wear this going out. Um, with maybe the lashes cut down, but it's just a pretty golden smoky eye, and I really like looks like that. I think they make your eyes stand out, whether you have blue or brown eyes, like, or green or any color eye. I'm going to go out of frame because i got to do my water lines, but I'm just lining the top and bottom with Teddy Eye Coal from MAC. This is a pretty basic step, but it's really hard for me to do in the camera. Like, I can kind of look past for this one, I guess. But the top part is impossible, trying to do it in the mirror that's farther away. Okay. And now I'm taking Avenue Fluid Line from MAC, which is a brown with golden reflex in it. You could do just a regular brown, but this is perfect for this look. Okay. The, the look I'm most excited for is like my, I think, my mermaid one. Um, the blue one. I'm doing, like, two different mermaid looks. I'm doing Ariel from Little Mermaid, which is going to be one of the really natural looks. I could do that one for class, actually, and go to class, and it would probably not look out of place at all. It's basically really natural with red glossy lips, and then I'm using false lashes that have little rhinestones on them because it kind of makes me think of, like, the water droplets that the fairy, or that mermaids would have on their lashes from being in the water and... Like, when they surface, I don't know. That's kind of, like, my take on it. I wish this brush... I didn't keep it clean like I should. So now it's really kind of hard to work with. Because it, like, fans out where it shouldn't. Okay. 
so that's the Avenue Fluid line. Now I'm going to take the eyelashes, which came from Walmart. They're Vampira lashes. Vampira, if you can see that. And they were like three bucks. They're just really long. So if you can see, they're really long and spiky. So if you want to wear these for every day, you can clip them down a little bit. Now I'm taking my light clear lash glue because I'm not wearing black eyeliner, so I'm using my clear one. It looks white and then dries clear, of course. And I'm going to do a little bit of glue on there. Now you got to wait, wait, wait for it to dry. These are kind of nice because you can switch up the lid too. Because this one, it's not shorter on one side. Like on a more natural one. Ooh. <laughs> on a more natural pair of lashes, this inner corner would be like down to here. It'd be clipped short and then it'd get longer on the end. And that's easy to know which eye to use it on, usually. Unless there's a very little difference. Um, but. And these, they're the same length, which is why they're so dramatic looking on the inside, especially because usually they wouldn't be that long at all. <sighs> these have a thicker band as well, so it makes them not as easy to work with. And yeah, apparently there's like glue on the lashes. The problem with these is they're Halloween, so they're not like even as good a quality as the other $3 ones. I was kind of surprised that they were really out of lashes when I went into Walmart. Like the normal ones you find in the makeup department. So I'm guessing that is people getting lashes for like Halloween. But I thought I'd just play around with some of these Halloween ones, but I'm kind of disappointed in these. And then it starts sticking to my tweezers, and I just pull everything up that I just stuck on there. So, screw my tweezers. I don't want to use those. So that should be good. Hopefully. Whatever. Now I'm going to take Beauty Rush in Gold Crush from Victoria's Secret. It's the glitter liner. I'm using this on the bottom of my lash line. There we go. Now I'm going to take Clinique's Bottom Lash Mascara in brown black, and I'm just going to do my bottom lashes. This is definitely an eye look. <laughs> and now the very last thing I'm going to do, all in all, plus with my eyes, is I'm taking Reflex Glitter. Max Reflex Glitter in gold. And it's the white one that it, if you put it on, you can see it comes out gold, but when you look at it, it's just white at first. Which is why it's reflex and not just gold. I have gold glitter and I don't really want to use that. And I'm just putting that all over my eye, and then see if I can get it to work on my lips. Ugh. 
and then I dabbed it on my lips, so that should give it the same look as if I'd have gotten that gloss yet. I think that's everything. I'm going to use my Urban Decay All Nighter Long Lasting Makeup Setting Spray, so And then this is for um, my hair because I'm going to do it curled and down and then I'm going to use it on like the rest of my body too, like my shoulders. My dress is, I've worn it before in one of my tutorials, but it's got sleeves that are long on one side with like little ties and then on this side it's got like just a shorter sleeve like this, like it's a chunky tank sleeve I guess you'd say. And then I can put this on my shoulders, on my arms, on my chest a little bit. And it'll just, it's just um, gold sparkle from Good Mark Glitter Spray for hair and body. Spray on, wash out. Shake well before use. So, and that's from Walmart, so you can find that at any Walmart probably. I think that's everything. So this is just the look. And it's all eyes and glowy face stuff. That's a tail. You naughty naughty baby. Look at him. Look at him. Hi. Alright. That's everything. So I will probably be doing everything but maybe if I have a spare day and I'm bored I'll do my mermaid look because that's the one that I'm going to be doing blue scales on my face and like yeah, it's going to take a long time, and it's the most, like, costumey one, because I'm putting, like, basically face paint, or paint on my face. Um, so I hope you guys enjoyed this one, and get some ideas if you want to play around with this just for going out, or for Halloween. Um, so I will see you guys later. Bye!